All right, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to sew on a 3D piece. We have five 3D pieces for our Ruby the Fox, the muzzle, the two arms, and the two legs. We will start off with sewing on the muzzle. And for that, first we'll need to locate the attachment point. Now examine your project and let's find the appropriate location for the muzzle. The instructions indicate that we need to sew on our piece between rounds 9 and 13. So count from the top just as we did for the eyes of our plushie and locate the rounds 9 and 13. This is where our muzzle will go. All right, we have our piece here, and before we sew it onto the body of the plushie, we want to make sure that all the extra yarn is tucked inside of our piece, beside that one yarn tail that is attached to our piece and which we will be using to sew our piece onto the body of our plushie. If the yarn pieces are too long, feel free to trim them to make them a manageable length so that we can easily tuck them in. The yarn that we have tucked into our piece serves us as stuffing, but we can add extra stuffing to make sure it's nice and stuffed. We will just need a very small amount for this piece as it's quite small. Now thread your yarn and follow the detailed instructions to sew your piece on your plushie. All right, now we have our 3D piece in our non-dominant hand and we have our yarn needle in our dominant hand. Now let's make sure that the yarn tail is out of our way so it's nice and secure inside of our piece. And now we are ready to sew our piece on the body of our plushie. All right, now we have our yarn needle in our dominant hand and we are holding on to the piece with our non-dominant hand. We also want to be holding on to our piece the entire time. Now, once we have decided our placement, we can identify which hole our yarn tail, the yarn that is coming out of our piece, is aligned with. And this is exactly where we'll be inserting our needle. Now insert your needle in that hole and take it out one stitch away following the rim of your piece. Every time you take your needle out, make sure to give it a little tug to secure the piece in the right position. Now we can see that our yarn tail came out of this hole and that hole is lined up with this horizontal V right here. Now insert your needle under the both loops of that horizontal V. Now pull the yarn tail out and give it a nice tug. Next, we are going to be inserting our needle back into that same spot it just came out of. And you can easily spot that as you can see the yarn coming out of that hole. Then move it one stitch over following the rim of your piece and take your needle out. Pull on the yarn to tighten and then identify the next horizontal V that the needle will go under. Again, the horizontal V need to be aligned with the spot that our yarn tail is coming out of. Now take your needle out and pull on the yarn to tighten it. Just make sure to follow the rim as you do this to securely attach your piece to your plushie. Repeat this sequence all the way around your piece and remember to give it a little tug every single time you complete the stitch to keep it nice and snug.
All right, once we are done with the round, we can see that our yarn tail is sticking out of this hole right here. What we want to do is insert our needle back into the same exact hole it just came out of. Now push your needles through the entire piece and take it out from the other side of your piece to make sure that your yarn tail gets stuck in the stuffing inside. And once that's done, grab your scissors and trim the yarn tail as close to the surface of the piece as possible. And if you still see a bit of that yarn tail sticking out, just gently massage your piece until it disappears completely. And there you have it. Now you know how to attach a 3D piece to another piece. Now go ahead and apply the technique you have learned to sew on the arms and the legs of your plushie. Quick reminder, we have already discussed the importance of flipping our piece to reveal the right side as soon as it naturally starts to curve. Now take your crocheted piece and flip it inside out. In other words, reverse it so that the side that was initially on the inside is now turned to face the outside. If the yarn tail happens to be too long, you can trim it with your scissors. This way you can easily tuck it inside the piece, preparing it for the sewing process. Do not cut the yarn tail too short as we do not want to accidentally unravel our work. Now go ahead and apply the technique you have learned to sew on the arms and the legs of your plushie. 